Uh, and you know what? I'm not gonna use that mic. Welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, I'm tired. I am so, so very tired. Just had a, a, a long day at work is all. Um... Well, the game hasn't frozen. For starters, this is trading since 2019, but uh, I'm only streaming this to face or Facebook, to uh, Twitch tonight. And if you're watching this on Twitch, welcome. Uh, I have chat up. You can just sit here and chat and BS as I do some route building. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, click the link in the description below. I stream Run 8 on Friday nights and iRacing on Wednesdays. I'm probably going to start adding trains either in on Saturdays or Sundays. Probably Saturdays just because of everything going on with other stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. What else? What else? What else? I'm just putting some stuff out there. Normally I have like my pre-show and everything and streaming some route building. Because why not? So yeah, this train's 2019. I have a there's an option where you can turn off like the spinning spline points because they're just annoying as all hell and this is my Saginaw sub route that I've been working on for seven years eight years um, and I'm down here in Plymouth now I, I realized this last night I was oh, that track. Why am I, what is up with the track and just it not working right like ever Okay, that one. Okay, that. Mm, I don't like that. Uh, anyways, I realized the other night I screwed up after I did this whole yard and I'm looking at one thing like something doesn't seem right. So I double checked everything and I screwed up and I used this track here, right here, as one of the uh, mainline or one of the yard tracks when really it's the mainline tracks. So there's actually supposed to be another track here that merges in right here. I'm gonna probably at some point add it back in and do it proper, but I just I I, I didn't have the mental brain power to, after fighting with everything else in this yard to get it right. I'm like, I'm just gonna make it work, and I'll come back in later and make it right. So at this moment, it's it's just gonna it's like you know what? it's good enough that I can start doing operations as soon as I get the rest of the main line built. So, I'm going to basically follow the same formula I did the H, or F, the F, that I've been doing. Uh, same strategy is just work my way south a little bit at a time. And uh, because I'm running a triple monitor setup, I've got on one of my other monitors, I've got right here, I've got Google Earth. Right here, I've got a book open to the page in the area I'm at. And let's just... I think it does work a little bit. That's, that does warm me up a little bit. Okay, cool. Oh, and uh, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, configure video, camera control, autofocus. No matter how many times I turn autofocus off on this camera, it turns itself back on. Why is it... Uh, it moves in increments of five. There we go. I always forget normally I reset that, but I forgot this one. I forgot this one. Someone, someone, one of the trains discords. How many of you people know what speed to accelerate this 30 minute long video of building a route so I could stream over it? I'm like, I don't know. I just do my stuff live.
just trying to slowly promote my channel to them. Whatever. Alright, uh, so there's actually a grade crossing right here. And according to my thing, it's Gates, it's Fisher, no, it's Farmer Street. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my pick list to Sag Roads, Yarn. And this road actually goes... There we go. If I actually select the right road. I'm not putting the roads in like super hardcore permanent. I'm just putting them in enough to get them in and get the grade crossings and everything working. And once the... Uh, Oh, I know what that is. I'm like, I haven't done this in a while. Um, it's Gates, but I can actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. I've got uh, Google Google Street View. This is the grade crossing we're currently, I'm going to currently. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm at the wrong one. I'm at the wrong one. It's this one right here. Drop the camera down. There's gates. Uh, two flange greasers. That switch right there. Cross over there. And you can actually, if you're in the Plymouth area, you can actually hang out in this area right here. You can just park your car and rail fan. But they're, they're, you're, unless there's a lot going on in Plymouth, you're not really going to see much. Um, let me zoom. There we go. Uh, if you're lucky, sometimes you can see they have a couple cabooses. There's a couple CNO cabooses that they keep stored over here. But right, we'll go ahead and exit Street View and move that back over here. I'm using the TBS crossovers. I originally was building this route with ATLS, and I wasn't. I wasn't happy with ATLS. It has ATLS is great. I think it has a lot of great functionality. But I was finding Whoa, 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 whoa. That is not oh, because I freaking clicked the wrong one. I'm like what? That's not what I clicked. Um, and I'm probably putting these TRC crossings. I still maintain I'm putting them in wrong. Uh, da -da -da -da. And, but yeah, the TRC crossings are... Not only are they a little easier to set up, I think they're just overall a bit better. Do I want to do an 8 meter? Or do we want to do a 12 meter? What's a 12 meter going to put our stop points? Yeah, we'll do a 12 meter just because there is an intersection right here. And I, eh, no, we'll do the 8 meter because it's, there's an intersection right there. And it's going to look weird later. And then we insert a spline point there and there. And then we can delete the road here. Attach it there and there. And then go back to the scenery tool. Use the height. Hit and hold control. Just move it a few bits. There we go. Move that there, move that there, and we've got our grade crossing pretty much for the most part put in. All I have left to do is number it and everything, and one of the things that I'm doing, that was one of the things that I, I didn't do in the previous one, is I didn't number them in any order. So grade crossing number one wasn't followed by grade crossing number two. It was grade crossing one, 15, 77, 99, 2. Which was okay, except for I oftentimes forgot, like I lost track of what number I had used last. So my new solution is I on Google Earth, you can see the little menu popped up right there, I drop a pin, and I write the number down of what grade crossing that is, and I'm doing each grade crossing in numerical order. So the very first grade crossing you see leaving Saginaw is number one, and this one is the 102nd grade crossing you cross over. Uh, there's a few that aren't necessarily in order because they're ones that are off like um, uh, there's one on the the line that goes to the auto plant and then one of the a couple of the industry tracks near um, Saginaw have them but 101 no this is 102 and one 
So they're they're all relatively in order from you know there down. Once we number them, three and then fifty, and then we'll do sixty-five. Actually, this needs to be four. We'll do the same thing. Uh, five. 50 and we'll do uh, 100. Six. This is basically just which which way, you know, how far away is this grade crossing going to activate? And the reason why I'm setting one smaller than the other, and actually, you know what, we'll, we'll bump this up to. Uh, 250. The reason why I'm setting one smaller than the other is just because one's mainline and one's the yard track, and the grade crossings will you know, activate it at. Uh, I want the mainline to activate, you know, when the train's further away because the train's gonna be moving faster. The only problem I'm having, really, the only real problem I'm having is I'm using these. Um, uh, uh, where is it? Where is the? There it is. I'm using these TBS, the back shop, payware uh, crossing gates. They're fantastic crossing gates. The problem is none of this menu stuff here works. So I can't like turn on the bells or anything. So the bells don't ring when you roll through them. I'm probably at some point, if I can find some better TBS crossing gates, I'll probably use those. But again, it would require me to find better, or not TBS, uh, TRC crossing gates. I would have to find better TRC crossing gates. And actually, while I'm saying this, I'm just going right now to the download station. And we'll just, whoop, put right here. There we go. And just TRC. And see what pops up. Uh... I guess there's a few, it looks like, TLC. Uh, let's just see, let's just see. Uh, da, 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 da. I know I downloaded some. TRC, Invisible Rail Crossing, Traffic Stopper, Traffic Stopper, Traffic Stopper, I don't want those. And see, that looks too clean. I mean, I could use these, I could probably use the asset replacement tool and um did I already do make one? Did I already do this? No, okay. Um my problem is like this is a a predefined grade crossing like with fixed track and everything. It it's not gonna work the way I want it to work. <laughs> and the fact that this like the lights are angled I don't like that. The lights shouldn't be angled. And so, but then again, there's probably also a bunch of like grade crossings that I just I haven't downloaded because I'm lazy. Um, TRC US Co L scenery. Yes, yeah, this is this is got this is gonna have the cantilever and it's gonna have those angled arms. Like this guy made like these are great assets that this this person made. They're just they just don't have the appearance that I want them to have. Like they don't look the way I want them to look. So that's why I'm using the TBS ones. Because the TBS ones at least look good. And I can play the sound in my head. I'm just checking some discords here. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, 
Uh, so this grade crossing should be working now. And the next one is right here. And I'm just going to move Google Maps down. I like how, because Google Maps does kind of do some 3D imagery. Or Google Maps, Google Earth. They just, they happen to scan like one side of a train. So I'm looking like, here, you can see it on the street. You can see there's like some cars here, but like, and there's cars like parked, like stopped here, but also not stopped there. So this is the next grade crossing I'm going to put in. I'm just going to we'll put this one in. Uh, this one's going to be a little interesting because it's going to have multiple parts. And I'm backdating this route to the 90s. So this signal bridge here, which is nice looking, is a little too new. So we're not going to be putting that one in. Da, 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 da. And then I, I have my map, my one chart that I have. I've got a chart here. I'm going to bring it up on the other screen. Bring it up on the other screen. This is what this is the book that I'm using basically to, to number all of my signals and stuff when I you know, have a signal that needs numbered, like an intermediate. It shows an industry right here. Let's just exit Street View. Boom, boom, boom. But like map view, and even if I use the time machine and go back, let's see. 2007 it shows that building there, but no track connection, still no track connection. What I'm doing is I'm looking at this this area right here on Google Earth and using the the like different age imagery and as far as back 99 doesn't look like that that industry is there so won't be putting that track in but we are down near Plymouth so I mean there's that I I'm at mile marker just past mile marker 82 of 135 miles of track that I've had to build or that I, I've had to build. yeah I've in, intentionally built intentionally voluntarily built whatever Yep, let's go ahead. Yeah, so let's use, let's use high desert grass. Desert grass, what does it even look like? Eh, not much. There's also a narrow spline. Interesting, interesting little quirk is these stoppers are by default in Surveyor activated when you first put them down. So this car's just going to sit there and honk the horns at me. I don't even hear any game sound, so that's weird. Oh, I wonder, I wonder. Oh, da, 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 da. Yeah, my desktop audio isn't playing anything. Ah, I wonder something. Open volume mixer. Settings? <laughs> Max settings, okay. Mm. Uh, just for poops and giggles. Find me a locomotive. Any locomotive. Now, something at least easy to spot if I put down that's different than everything else. Those are cars. Eh, no. Oh, I forgot I downloaded the... Uh, <laughs> the mini the mini rotary plow thing. Uh. Um, no, because I already have one of those. I'm trying to. I'm supposed to be trying to put on a locomotive so that way I can use the control function to find it easily. Here's the thing. These I have these. I have these four LRC locomotives. Right. One, two, three, four. They all spawn in as Union Pacific. No idea why. Nah, that one will work. Control F2. Yes, I would like to save changes and start driver. I just wanted to. I'm gonna figure out why I have no game audio. Hmm. 
Okay, that's good. Let's exit game. I have no game audio. Ah. Why do I not have a game audio? I still have PC audio. So why? Oh, I wonder. No, because I was working yesterday. Oh, this is fully restart a game. Sound settings. View sessions. Uh, let's edit session and just see. I don't know why I have a key audio. I let my game reload again and just see maybe that triggers the audio to work, but I have no idea why my audio isn't working. I still ha I can still listen to music. Unless there's some reason, something that causes trains to not work with OBS. And whoop, that's the wrong button. I'm probably going to delete that logo, but I totally forgot the driver mode puts me in the last... My driver avatar is already in a locomotive in Wix something, so... On Wednesday during my iRacing League race, I was complaining about being too hot. And Singer saying, I need to turn my fan on. And I came home. Oh, there we go. Now audio's working. Let's just turn it up just a little bit more. There we go. I don't know why it wasn't working. That was weird. Ah, uh, well, since we're here, 
it, to give you an idea just how how you know this 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 route whoop, wrong button. this route is being built one to one scale we're in cab mode because I'm not a pleb So let's actually just see how long it takes to run between Wixom, Michigan, and Plymouth, Michigan. It's only... Ugh, I don't even know how far that is. There we go. I can measure that with this. It's only about 10 miles in, in a, a straight line. Oh, that's one of the things I forgot. So I'm so used to run eight, where your rail driver, which is what I'm using, still remembers or still functions even if you click off of the game. So like I could click on another tab and still have full control of my train. Trains, it doesn't do that. If you click off, um, you lose control. No. Like, the headlights aren't on because, again, another thing with the rail driver in Run 8, the, the headlight switches are flip-flopped. So the wiper switch, which is on top, is your headlight, and the light switch, which is on bottom, is your tail light. So just doing track speed. I've got a switch up here I have to find. It's not that one. Yeah, it's that one. Nope, it's that one. Come on, let me click on it. There we go. Uh, I'm using car tagger, but it doesn't really work right. It doesn't interact with industries, or at least the pro it, it interacts with industries. It doesn't interact with uh, Proto Lars industries, which is what I use. And this box up here, the only well, you can't see it, but uh, I also have a. EX Trains Manager, and it doesn't work with Proto Lars Industries either. A little over speed. It's actually been a really long time since I've played in, since I've driven a train in trains, so. I just want to run this down to Plymouth just to see, you know, ballpark how long it takes to get there. So far, it's, uh, been three minutes because the time in game is noon. Uh, game capture. Actually, I'm gonna... Oh, that's a new setting. Okay, okay. I'm gonna have to play around with that later. And I'm gonna have to move this down. Right, right there. There we go. Again, I clicked off. I know. I what it was is I went to uh, add a new new source, and there's an OVR capture. I do a lot of VR gaming, and. There's a couple games I want to stream, but they don't look really good on stream because there's no way to capture what's in the VR headset without having a mirror. And some of them, they don't mirror properly. They mirror really weird, like American Truck Sim. It, doesn't, it, it mirrors as a black screen. Uh, X-Plane, it mirrors super, super narrow. Uh, iRacing... That mirrors just fine. VR chat, that mirrors just fine. A couple other games, they all mirror just fine. The, op the, the other thing I can do is I can use um, uh, the Steam VR has a, a mirror function, but it has a really low, like 10, 10, 11 FPS, which means streaming games through that is really bad. The, the, the frame rate, the output frame rate is terrible. 
We're just now leaving Plymouth. So we've got another grade crossing here that's activated for us. We're just some light power. Leaving, leaving Wixom some light power to head down to Plymouth just to kind of get a, a feel for, for what running this route's going to feel like. Speed has been increased to 50, so crack the throttle open. But no, as I was saying, I, was saying, I, I went to go add a new scene so that way I could capture uh, trains properly, and it popped up a little thing. It's like, oh, you could OVR capture. And I'm like, huh, I want, I'm going to try that out. Obviously, I can't do trains in VR because it doesn't support it, but... One of my favorite things about trains was always actually just being able to drive the train in cab mode with the rail driver, but in this view. I prefer the... I, I, I love Run 8 when it just forces you to be in the cab like this. Um, but also, I like trains kind of gives you that option. I haven't set up any tracking cameras or anything. I haven't really done much in terms of scenery. I've just there's a couple areas where I've put down like some trees and stuff, just just to just to put them in and say, eh, just to take a break from laying track and building yards. An old disuse spur right here. I might reconnect this. That's why I got that switch there. I might do something weird with layers. I might do some experimenting with layers. I don't know. And the speed is back down to 35. I don't know why. Oh, I know why. All my track mark, all my speed markers right now are invisible speed, uh, invisible speed limit signs. Eventually, I'm going to actually, because most of the, the speed limit signs on this route are just based off of mileposts. So, but I'll probably actually put in proper speed limit signs that you actually can see, just, or at least advanced warning signs on that. Not exactly prototypical, but easier to tell what's going on. And as far as I can tell, this is, this is proper setup for the, a lot of these areas. No brake racing, what is going on? Jody, right? I saw you, uh... I hate this. I, this is something I hate. Look at this. No matter what I do, these ties are up higher. If I raise the spline point that's right here, just 0.1%, these these ties disappear, and it's, it's weird. It's, mm. I'm probably going to switch back off of the procedural track. I saw your setup, I'm like, that is freaking sweet, and then I'm like, I should take a picture of my setup, and then it's a fucking mess, because I got clean laundry just sitting on my couch, I've got an empty Taco Bell bag, because I'm fat, I'm a fat ass, and I'm lazy, and then I got, like, my green screen set up right now, and I'm like, ugh. Ugh. <sighs> that button isn't right. Uh, pop the discords. Nothing new there. <laughs> we need to do that for a while. And this is a bridge, so almost every single place where there's a road that crosses the tracks I put in. This is a bridge, so I didn't put it in, but like some of them I did and I just, I was like, ah, I'm just gonna get this, I wanna get this area done. Almost every single turnout as well I've been naming, just to keep, uh, just, just it looks better when they're named.
And we're speeding again. We we're on a slight downhill grade here, so. Another grade crossing coming up. And I know I'm, I'm doing everything wrong by using the independent brake, but I've only got locomotives, so I don't care. Also, I'm not doing a real op session here, so I'm just kind of like, eh, I'll mess around. When I was saying earlier, like, it was, it was hot in my room during the race on Wednesday, and I was like, oh, did I forget to turn my fan on? And I'm, like, looking up and flipping the gear. I'm like, no, the fan's on. And I came home, and I'm like, oh, it's, it's cold in my room. I turned the fan off, and I'm like, oh, it's still cold in my room. That's one of the areas where I put down some trees and some scenery just to kind of... Because this is a big, heavily forested area right through here, and I just wanted to see... It was mostly just frame rate testing, putting down all of these trees and just seeing how how much it tanked my game. And the game's fine. I do have the settings kind of like at a mid level. I could probably go higher, but I could probably go lower. That's a tree that needs to be moved. And there's a grade crossing I missed because I always I always miss this grade crossing. I need to put a my whistle post signs in. The last time I did a video on this route, and I was talking to some other stuff, um, I uh, I missed that grade crossing. Let me pick the speed back up. Interesting enough, so I'm building this route, and I've been building this route for a long time, and there's nothing, no, no reason why I can't build this route, right? Like, I have a computer, I have the time, I have the... I, I have the want. I don't necessarily have the energy, because I'm, well, I get burnt out easy. And somebody, somebody on, on YouTube commented on one of my videos about this route. Like, you need to stop right now. I'm building this route, and unless you have a license from CSX to do this, you you can't. And I even said, like, dude, I've been building this route for seven years. If, you, if you're watching my, you, you know, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I've been building it for a lot longer. And again, there's nothing that says anyone else can't build this route as well. It's not like I have exclusive rights to it, or any one other person has exclusive rights to building this route. And you don't need legal permission from the railroad that owns it to do it. I'm not turning around and selling this as an officially licensed product. I'm doing it for my own entertainment, and maybe the eventual entertainment of others. I've said it. I said it when I originally started building this route that I was going to release it to the DLS and do multiplayer and stuff on it. And that was back before uh, Run 8 had really, really, really good multiplayer, and before Trains multiplayer became really, really just crap. So the whole idea of releasing this route and doing anything like that with it just. kind of win. That, that's part of the reason why I stopped working on it is because the multiplayer in in uh, Run 8 was just so much better and the multiplayer in Trains just wasn't working as wasn't working in a manner that was entertaining it just it sucked <laughs> for lack of a better term This is an interesting area because there's a road that comes off of this, and then it comes down, and if I remember correctly, it actually goes under right here. And another good crossing I missed, because I'm more focused on talking about this route than anything else. Paramarquette boxcar, from back when this line used to be owned by the Paramarquette, one of my favorite railroads. I 
believe we got our first yellow signals. We're approaching Plymouth. I think, I think at, at, at with how much trackage I have right now to leave from Saginaw to get to Plymouth, it's something like an hour, maybe more, just because there's there's a lot of areas that are much slower. So it's, I think it's no, it's longer than that because I think it takes it's about a half hour to get from Saginaw to Flint. One of the things I'm going to do, um, and I did this last year, is on Christmas Eve, I'm going to do a run from Saginaw to as far as I actually have, and I'm going to record the whole thing and upload it to YouTube. So every Christmas Eve, a new run video comes out where it's a little bit longer, a little bit more scenery. And I know someone's going to sit there and say, oh, yeah. Pair, you're here on the Polar Express, and actually, yes, I do it on Christmas. That's the only time I run that train set. I'm going to speed again, especially since we just had a yellow signal. That's one of the things that. Uh, trains doesn't have that run 8 has it has a like insta stop button run 8 has an insta stop button you're just, oh no trains doesn't and like i said earlier i'm just putting these roads roughly in just to get them in and say they're there so they obviously are clipping through the ground right here and When I do my scenery, when I actually start doing scenery, and I go basically tile by tile by tile doing scenery, I will um, fix the, those little issues, make tweaks and adjustments and everything. And hopefully by then there'll be more TRC grade crossings available. That's the last grade crossing though before we actually reach Plymouth Yard proper. with yard limits at least which is uh, north yard limits which is what you normally would be working is that switch right there it took about 18 minutes to get here so it takes about 20 minutes to go from uh, from from Wixom to Plymouth so not, not too bad Obviously, all this, like, this here will be blended a little better. I just kind of quickly did the terrain to the level of the track. And uh, we're not going to pull into the yard. I want to test one. Well, no, that's not going to work. That's not going to work because I don't have enough signals yet. So. One of the things I'm really, you know, I know some people are sitting there saying, oh, Train's Multiplayer Surveyor, it's going to be great. And I'm just like, mm, I'm kind of lukewarm on it. Uh, oh, i got to move that. i got to fix that. That's like, I just took out that switch. i got to move it over. Uh, but one of the things that I'm actually kind of excited about, and I might, like, I know there's a beta version or whatever you can get access to it if you pay like a little bit more money for trains or whatever um but it's uh combined driver and surveyor like that's a mode i wanted for so long and for those watching who may not be familiar with what that is trains has effectively two modes um driver which is what we're in right now, where you actually drive a train, and Surveyor, where you can build your own railroad, you can change things, you can add trees and place trains and everything. But they've always been two very separate game modes. You can't drive a train in Surveyor, and you can't edit the ground in driver mode. And combined 
surveyor and driver, which is uh, something that's coming in one of the updates, or it's available in like a beta thing or whatever. That is something I've wanted for a long time. It would you know it would fix that issue. Now somewhere in here there's a trigger, and it should activate this. This um, signal, but because there's no signal like down here continuing down, and I oh my god, I fucking hate this piece of track right here. I'm, I'm gonna get into that in a minute. What I want to do is I want to look at this. This should have, yep, so that's it. This green light glowing right here is telling me that that's actually working. That signal will still be red because there's no signal beyond, but whatever. But no, that uh, one piece of track I just got mad at. See how, like, these ties right here are just fine and dandy? I mean, this one's a little... Mm, but, like, look at this. Look how nice that looks, this procedural track. There's absolutely no reason why these ties should be like that. They weren't like that earlier. And then I saved the game going to driver, and now they're like that. And it's not a matter of, oh, it's not updating. It's a matter of, it is updating. It's updating to that. And that's just ugly and stupid, and I don't know why. And you can see I got a spot right here, too. If, like, one end is just not quite lined up just right on that switch, they do that. Now, this version of the route this is actually the first time I'm driving a train across this diamond, so yay. This will at least let me test this grade cross and make sure it works properly. I see the gates coming down, cars stopping. So it worked. Cool. And it took us 23 minutes to get here. Auto Club is just... Ugh. I haven't even bought it yet. My, my plan is... Um, Monday. Getting some practice in on it. Or maybe tomorrow. Let's exit driver. Don't save. I, uh, what did I do? Thursday, I took a nap. I came home from work and took a nap. Oh. Friday, I did my, my normal Friday run eight live stream. And today, I just, I, just, I woke up this morning, and I'm like, I don't have the energy to even, like, ride my motorcycle to work. So I drove, and I'm just like, oh. And a large part of today just sucked. Because it was... I'm sitting at work, and I'm like, okay, I have nothing to do. I'm going to watch a YouTube video. And I watched one, like, five-minute YouTube video. Did, like, had a few things come up that I had to do. And then... It felt like four hours had gone by. And I look at the clock, and only an hour had gone by. And I was like, son of... See, now look at this! In driver, this track wasn't working right, and now it is. <sighs> I'm so tempted to not use procedural track. It just is so frustrating. But let's continue on. So these grade crossings work. We can go ahead and put this road in here. I 
One of my friends keeps it keeps popping up saying so and so is now playing Warhammer 40k, and then it like pops up like every two minutes. I think he's installing mods and keeps breaking his game. Uh, control shift F. We'll do a 12 meter just because this is like Main Street. All right, yeah. See you later, Jody. Hopefully, uh, we can get some practice in in the next uh, couple days before Wednesday's race. I also been working on something really stupid for the league, and once it's done, I'm gonna be like, "Here's a stupid thing I made." Um, let's see. That's cantilever crossings. Oop. Where'd it go? Yep, there it is. I think. Where my where my thing go? There it is. Let's put. Oh, there were cantilevers with crossings. Okay, so. Uh, I probably won't be able to make it because I have work tomorrow, and I don't get home until 5 my time, or like 5.30 my time, which is like, because I'm three hours behind you guys on the East Coast, so. And this one's actually in the wrong spot. That one needs to go there. When is this rotation at? 218. So we'll match that at 218. And we'll move it right there. Uh, what's this one rotated at? 30 degrees. Let's rotate. No! Damn it. I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> there's, there's Shadow again. Man, like today's time, like time today is just not going as fast as I thought it would. I thought I've been streaming already for like two hours, and I look, it's like only been an hour of streaming. I was going to bed. <laughs> it's like, fuck it, bedtime. All right, and back to Google Map, or Google Maps, Google Earth. Move that there. This is what 103. And one. Oh no, I'm on a freaking wrong layer. God damn it. Oh, well, it, it, it's easy to fix. There. <laughs> I hate when I'm working on the wrong layer and I have to fix it. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And then we'll do 50. 300. Seven fifty and three hundred eight fifty and four hundred no 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 these ones need to be four hundred And this one needs to be 300. Because this one's technically the siding. Um, one of the things that I want to do, or one of the things I'm doing as well, is I also have a timetable. Like an actual... God damn it. Uh, seven. No. It's nine. Like, I have a, a, where is it? Yeah, it's a timetable. Which is normally what, like, an engineer would carry in their pocket or, you know, like, in the cab. And this one's small. 
And I've been using that to get, you know, proper track speed marks on the train tracks. I'll just spam my own chat. <laughs> just make sure those work. Oh, might actually just call us a little early and, and 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 you know keep doing these on um Saturdays. But there's also that part of me that's just like I'm drained. Like I have no more energy. Right. And it actually it actually takes a lot of energy to. It, it takes a fair amount of energy to stream. I, wonder, I don't know where these signals came from, but they're stupid and I like them. <laughs> but they don't work here. JR. And actually, this is all oddly proper. <laughs> I've I've taken photos in this area, and they have so many. Oh no no no, that's on the wrong side. That's on the wrong. Side. So many um, dwarf signals in this area. There we go. Um... one there and I, also, I know there's another one like right here I just don't know which main it's actually it which main which track it governs so I'm not gonna put it in because I'm lazy pair of dwarfs down here, and a pair right here and here. I'm again, like I said, I'm going off of the old configuration of what they, they used to use and not what they currently use. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I, I, I always, I kind of go through every year and I'm going to rename all these switches at some point. Um, but there. And actually, um, SPL. Well, no, this is uh, North PLY SDG. SPLY L for lead. Call it lead. There we go. And it should always by default be going that way. Uh, I'm just debating if I want to use junction link right here and always have those ones 
linked. And speaking of that, actually, I'm not going to. I'm gonna, I, the junction link is nice, but I always have a little bit of a wonky time getting it working right, so I'm not going to worry about it. And I could, and I probably, I, I can, and will be doing. You know this this line going off this way, but I'll be ending it like right here at the freeway, or somewhere you know somewhere down here, just enough like maybe somewhere over here, just enough that it's there. And the same thing that this is the uh, Detroit sub here, and this is the Plymouth sub over here, just enough that it's there, and I can send through iPortals to other players. Uh, send inbound and outbound trains out of Plymouth. Since not every train that I will be receiving, because I want to eventually do iPortaling, goes on my route. I might say, someone sit there and say, oh, I have a stack train. I'm like, send that to me. I'll take it. I'll take everything. Just send me all the trains. And I know someone's going to sit there and say, no, stack trains don't run on the Saginaw sub. They do. They run as far as Plymouth, and then they take the Toledo Y, which is this right here, which... Uh, there's a track note, um, mute. Oh, no, it's one of these things. It's in here. I'm like, why is it? Um, let's name this. What is that? T-O-L-E-D-O-Y-W-E. -E. There we go. I'll probably name all of them eventually. I mean, it, it, that'll be one of the things that gets pa gets uh, really detailed in the, the scenery pass I do. But uh, let's continue on. And actually, I think it's, I think if I'm correct, this is all double track. Oh, no, I'm wrong. Let's see, we have this bend where we go through Ann Road, or Anna, Ann Arbor Trail, uh, Lily Road, then we cross over Ann Arbor Road. That's a bridge. Then we go Joy Road, under Haggerty, under 275, uh, Copernic Road, Warren Road, Ford Road, Service Road, Ford Road. And then goes back to single track at uh, Florence Road, Hicks Road right there. And then we go back to double track right after that at Newburgh Yard. You stay double track where we cross NS at Wayne, and there's Wayne Yard there as well. We stay double track until Romulus, or, uh, just north of Romulus, at the end of the Wayne Passing siding. Go single track for less than a mile to Romulus, cross the North Fork and Southern again. And then, yeah, I think it's double track from Romulus all the way down through Carlton, where we crossed Grand Trunk for, like, the 13th time. It's, I'm being sarcastic. It's only, like, second time, third time. And we stay double track from there. So, yeah, when, it's not until we hit Charlton. Or Carlton. I, why did I say Charlton? Carlton. That we go double track and stay double track. And then we stay double track all the way down until we hit Alexis and the line ends at Hallett well yeah it ends at Hallett so and when I'm, I'm not looking I'm looking I have a my track track chart on the side so it's kind of like oh, well, how much road do we gotta go <laughs> we still have a ways to go we're currently at mile marker if I'm still laying them down, which I'm going to put actually put the mile markers down. Uh, 
Uh, mile marker 83 is like in this bend here. So this goes around to here. And I'm just going to draw this out as a straight line to here. And use the straighten tool. Down here, use my height tool, get vertex height, and apply it. This fixes the height, and you can see like the, the, the track is not bound to the ground. The ground could be at any height, and the track doesn't care. I'm going to come down here and do the same thing right here. I'm going to actually move these kind of close to each other, just to make sure that the spline points are even. Evenly spaced. And then we'll use that to there and there. And now that track is that 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 line right there is pretty much mostly done. And before I forget I'm like, I want to fix that one switch, and I want to rename that other one that wasn't numbered properly. I'm probably going to, I'm going to have to redo at least this half of Plymouth Yard, just because I screwed up, and I excluded one track and didn't realize it until after the fact. And I don't know why, like, all of these should be at the same height, and then part of what it is is, like, the, the between the spline points, the tracks do this or this on their own, and... That's why I get some of these tracks that are floating and some of them that are sunk into the ground like that. And the only real fix is to, like, put another random spline point in and just adjust the height. And then it screws up, like, other things elsewhere. Okay, we can continue on. I'm not. I'm not going back into Plymouth Yard. <laughs> not getting sucked back in there. You can't make me. Although it is 8:10. I'm actually. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep this one short. Uh, I'm gonna call it a night here. Like I said, if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, check the link in the description below. I have a link to the Twitch where you can come in and hang out be in chat and everything. I'm probably going to keep working on this a little bit, just solo, just put some music on or whatever. Maybe go grab a... I'm all out of beer. Um, but I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I can feel my energy just draining out of me, and I can even feel my voice leaving me a little bit. So I'm going to call it a night. We'll definitely do more trains next Saturday. Uh, I'm probably going to make that my stream schedule. Uh, Wednesdays, I racing. Fridays run eight, Saturdays trains, and then yeah, so I'll catch you guys all later.